There are certainly levels of excitement for an author when milestones are met. First, it was fantastic when my little old fingers typed, the end. It was terrific when I finished the therapy I needed, after seeing all the changes and rewrites my first editor recommended. I was pumped when I got my first pre-publication review. And then I was ecstatic when the first paperback book arrived on my desk and the first review from a buyer and a reader gave me five stars. Then, as I shared with you the bliss when the hardbound book hit Barnes & Noble, Walmart, and a dozen other online stores. Now, what could be better than all this? Well, listen. Come on, listen. What does share or despair mean? Elizabeth wondered, remaining close to the door, so she could see who, if any, her answer would interest. Pulling back the hood of her cloak, long blonde hair tumbled over her shoulders, Striking blue eyes met Lonnie's warm brown ones, then slowly scanned the room lit by jewel lanterns on each of the four walls. Just loud enough for all dozen or so patrons to hear, she played her first hand. Never mind, I'm sorry to bother you. She feigned emotion toward the door, as if to exit, then paused. You wouldn't know about the blade of Safavid? Her eyes surveyed the room in hopes of finding a spark of interest. All eyes turned to a puny little scruff of a man who, until Elizabeth spoke, hadn't moved. One eyebrow lifted and drug the rest of the wrinkled jowl with it up from the ancient text, holding him captive. Silence. Silence broken only by his turning a page. Old piercing eyes transfixed... Yes, yes, yes. The audiobook is now available on Audible, Amazon, and iTunes. It's unbelievable. And as a bonus, here's what Alan Turton, who narrated and produced the audiobook, says. It's such a joy to narrate a well-written piece. They're not all this well-written, you know. Well, what could I say to that? Now, I'm telling you what. you got to listen to believe how super califragilistic expialidocious this really is. So, if you have credits on Audible lurking around, get the Blade of Safavid. Now, if you don't have credits, return that lousy book you're struggling with and get this one. Stick it right there in your library and get started. And for the hundreds of you who've read the paper versions or the Kindle version, thank you. And don't forget to share your reviews on Amazon or Goodreads or just back to me. Or, of course, I'm sure you have some friends. Tell them. Now, as you can see, I'm full of enthusiasm. And I thank you for indulging my excitement. And some parting words from my narrator, Alan Turton. This is tinged with a deal of sadness for me, as I have come to regard most of the characters in the Blade of Safavid as friends. I shall miss them. A lifelong student, he met and married my grandmother when he was studying here in Liverpool. Before he settled down, he travelled the world... No one knows if the... You have been listening to The Blade of Safavid, an epic historical adventure written by Kent Merrill, narrated by Alan Turton.